Okay, so we're going to solve a problem to do with finding the median of a set of medians. So we have the integers from 1 to 25, and we're going to arrange these into five subsets of 5 each, and find the median from each of these subsets, then we find the median of all of those medians to give our final value. And the question is, what are the biggest and smallest possible values we can get for this final median of all of the five medians? So just to illustrate what's going on here, we'll look at a simple example where our first set is just the integers from 1 to 5, then our second subset is the integers from 6 to 10, then 11 to 15, 16 to 20, and our final subset is the integers from 21 to 25. So we find the median of each of these subsets. The first one gives us 3, the second one gives us 8, then we have 13, 18, and 23 respectively from our remaining three subsets. So then you can see our final median of all of these medians is going to be 13. So it's definitely possible to get 13 as our median of the medians. So we'll start by trying to find the biggest possible value then we'll use a similar argument to find the smallest possible value for this median of medians. And we'll consider this from the point of view of, let's imagine we've got our five medians from each of the subsets, and we'll call these A, B, C, D, and E. And let's say that C is going to be, we'll say they're in order, and we'll say that C is going to be our final median there. So at this point you can see that D and E have got to be bigger than our final median of these medians. So this already rules out 24 and 25 because we need to have at least two integers which are greater than our final answer. So we can't have 24 or 25 because that wouldn't work. There aren't two integers greater than those values. We can go even further than this though because D and E in their previous subsets they both need to have two more values which are bigger than them in order for them to be the median of that subset. And similarly for our value C, our final median, this one also needs to have two values which are bigger than it in order for that to be the median of that subset. So then if we just fill these in, you can see the red ones are representing numbers which don't necessarily have to be bigger than our final median. But we can see here, we do definitely need to have two values bigger than our final median. We need to have D and E need to be bigger, and we also need two numbers in each of D and E's subsets, which are also bigger than our final median C. So you can see here we've got a total of eight values which need to be bigger than C. So this actually rules out everything from 18 up to 25, because 18 has only got seven values which are bigger than it. So we couldn't find a way of making this work with eight values bigger than 18. So it seems like actually 17 might be the biggest possible value for our median of medians. So here, there's nothing particularly restricting these other values, and similarly with our set with B and A, there's nothing particularly telling us that any of these values would need to be bigger than C. So let's see if we can construct an example where our final median is 17, and then this would show that 17 is the biggest possible value, because we can see that 18 won't work, because we do need to have at least eight integers bigger than our final median in order for this to work here, to, to be the median of this set, for D and E to be bigger than our median, and also for D and E to be the median. So we do need eight integers, so it seems 17 is the biggest possible case. But we do need to also show that it's possible to construct an example where 17 is the median of all of the medians. So let's give this a try. We'll start with our subsets which contain integers smaller than 17. So let's just try the integers 1 to 5 for our first subset, and then we'll take the integers from 6 to 10 for our second subset. Then our third subset, which actually contains 17, we'll just take 11 and 12 as our two integers less than 17, and we need two integers greater than 17, so we'll take 18 and 19, so that 17 is still the median there. So now we need to construct these other two subsets. So we need two integers which are less than 17, so we can still use 13, 14. Then we want D to be bigger than 17. We've used 18 and 19, so let's use 20, 21, and 22. So this will give us a median of 20 here. And for our final subset, the remaining integers that we've got left are 15, 16, 
and they're smaller than 17 and our remaining three bigger than 17 are 23, 24 and 25. So you can see we get our median from the first set is 3, then we have 8, we have 17, we have 20 and we have 23. So you can see here that the median is indeed going to be 17 in the end, our median of medians. So this proves then that the biggest possible value is 17 because as we saw earlier we need to have at least 8 integers greater than our final median and 17 can be achieved so 17 is the biggest possible value because we can't use 18 because there wouldn't be possible to have 8 integers greater than 18 from our collection of integers from 1 to 25. If we want to do the same thing now to find the smallest possible value we can use the symmetry about the problem here. So again, we could consider A, B, C, D, and D are medians from each of these sets. And then we can see that C needs to have, just like before, C has got to have two integers which are less than it and two integers which are greater than it. And we also know that A and B have got to be less than our final median of the medians, which we're calling C here. So we've got B, and this has also got to have another two values less than it, and similarly A has got to have another two values less than it for these both to be the median of their original subset. So it seems like once again we need to have, like how we had eight integers needed to be bigger than our median, we also need to have at least eight integers smaller than our final median. And then there don't seem to be any restrictions on the sets for D and E in terms of things being smaller than our final median. So we'll have a go at this and we'll see if we can work out a similar example where our final median is 9 then because we need to have 8 integers smaller than our final median which rules out everything from 1 up to 8. So 9 seems to be the smallest possible value that would work because there are 8 integers in our list which are less than 9. So if we start with the set containing A again we need three numbers which are smaller than 9, so let's just take 1, 2 and 3. Then we want two numbers which are bigger than 9, so we'll take 10 and 11 to give us our first subset, which will have a median of 3. For our second subset, we want three more numbers smaller than 9, so we'll take 4, 5 and 6. And for our two numbers bigger than 9, let's take 12 and 13. So then we've got 4, 5, 6, 12, 13 gives us a median of 6. And for our set which actually contains 9, our remaining two numbers 7 and 8 are less than 9, we'll include 9 itself, then we want two numbers bigger than 9. So we've already used 10 to 13, so let's use 14 and 15 to give us a median of 9 for our third set. And for our remaining two sets, we just want all of these to be bigger than 9, and we've used everything from 1 up to 15, so we can actually just do 16 to 20, and we can use 21 to 25 for our remaining two subsets. So this then gives us our medians are 3, 6, 9, we get 18, and finally we get 23 from our biggest subset there. So you can see it is possible to achieve a median of 9 of all of our medians. So then we can see that the smallest possible value has to be 9, because we need to have at least 8 numbers smaller than our final median of medians. And as we saw before, the biggest possible value is 17. So the answer to this is we can get anything between 9 and 17 as our median of all of the medians.